one is Tammy Pally, aka the Crafty Princess and Doll Collector. And my dolly and crafting peeps, uh, if you don't mind, I'm doing another stitch fix sharing video, so you may or may not be interested in this. Um, for the stitch fix folks out there, I will not be trying on any clothes for you. However, I do have clips at the end of this video to show you the clothes a little bit more close up. I actually did a, a filming of everything that was in the box um, and then let's just say that did not work out. Luckily the clips I had taken um, were fine. So this is sort of like I'm backtracking. As you may or may not know, you only have three days to decide what you want out of the box and then you have to get it in the mail. And so I didn't have time by the time I realized that my intro video where I was like showing all the clothes and that kind of thing didn't work out. Um, didn't have time to refilm it and show you all the stuff again like that. But like I said, if you want to just zip over to the end and see, um, I have put the uh, items on a hanger and show them a little bit close up, uh, the patterns on the shirts and that kind of thing, if you want to do that. I, yeah, so I'm gonna keep this kind of short. Um, so what basically what happened is I thought I was going to get a five out of five. I was a bad girl and I peeked in my box before it arrived and I got very excited. And um, I have to say it was very close though. The, the issue was really had to do with fit. Um, a couple of tops just fit me um, odd, So just oddly. to let you know what was in the box, let me read off of the, um, the invoice here. Um, there were a pair of Town and Reese Shea hoop earrings for $34. Uh, again, one of the clips have to excuse me, I have to use these to read. One of the clips at the end of the video I, I do have where I show these pretty close up. Um, generally, they were really nice, but they were $34. So they, to me, they weren't $34 worth. And plus, anybody that knows that I'm a crafter and actually I'm a jewelry designer, I've written numerous books on making jewelry and I've sold jewelry to shops and that kind of thing. And it was probably stupid for me to even say I was going to get any jewelry. You know, I didn't, at the time, I didn't have it marked off on my profile. I do now. <laughs> But, you know, I love jewelry, so, you know, I don't mind spending money on a nice pair of earrings now and then. But, anyhow, these, those did not make the cut. Um, one of the, uh, there were three shirts, a pair of earrings, and a pair of shorts in my box. Um, the Skyser Blue shirt was $54. The Paper Moon Albany Split Neck, neck Blouse was $44. And the Paper Moon Delphia Drape Back Knit Top was $44. And then, of course, the Cut from the Cloth shorts were $68. Um, the subtotal was $244. If I would have bought everything and gotten my 25% off and also included my $20 off, it was going to be $163, which really wasn't too bad. Um, I really liked the looks of all three of the tops. I actually asked for the, the shorts. Um, I had gotten them in the previous box, and um, I will put a link um, in the comments for that if you want to go back and look at them. I don't show the shorts because they're the same exact shorts I got in the first box. They were just a size smaller. The size smaller did fit me and just a tip if you're new to Stitch Fix and you get any of the cut from the cloth shorts, wear them around for like maybe a half hour in your home. Don't go out in them because that's not right. <laughs> but make sure they fit you because mine, when I put them on, I, they seemed a little big but I didn't think they were going to be that big and then the next, I washed them and then I wore them the next day and they just grew massively on me. <laughs> so um, I have recently uh, sold those on, on a Facebook page and I got a, I had a big hit in how much I paid for them, but the girl got a really great discount because I really just wore them one time and washed them twice. So anyhow, I asked for those shorts again. However, one of the problems with Stitch Fix that I see, it's problematic, is that either the best thing is either you pay for everything or you just buy one item. Because you've already invested $20 and your $20 goes towards a purchase, um, it's it doesn't make a lot of sense to buy more than one item. Even though the first box, I mean, I really needed stuff, so I bought three out of the five items. Um, this time, though, I didn't do that. I sent those shorts back because there was a top that I still have that I kept. And um, so, yeah, I kept this top. This is the Albany top. And I love it. Uh, again, you'll see a, a better close-up um, video of this where the whole thing's hanging up on a hanger and stuff. Um, but yeah, so I had to kind of decide. And since at the time I hadn't sold the shorts, I figured I really shouldn't buy them again. They are $68. So without the 25% discount, when I know I can just ask for them again. So basically that's what I did. I, I, I bought this one shirt that my $20 went towards. 
So this shirt was normally $44. I ended up paying an extra 24. So I, yeah, 20, because I had my 20, so 24. So now I've got a shirt. I love it. It goes great with some pair of gray pants I have. And yeah, so I ended up sending those shorts back, heavy sigh. But what I did is I went ahead and my stylist probably wants to wring my neck, but I said, please put those shorts in the next box along with other stuff that I want. So fingers crossed, the next box will be five out of five. I will actually have those shorts in the box. So that will be at least one item I know I want and maybe I'll get them again. So, um, so yeah. And yeah, my, so my stylist, by the way, was Mandy. And like I said, I think she did a really good job um, in her little note. She mentions that she did uh, look at my Pinterest site and that's where she got an idea for a couple of the shirts. Um, she also said in here, let's see, that the earrings, she, she put the earrings in there so that they would match um, this shirt and the earrings have rose quartz in them. And of course I have plenty of rose quartz earrings. So I thought, well, that's a good idea. Thank you, Mandy. So I pulled out some earrings that I had made myself that had pink um, in them. They were actually pink pearls. So yeah, so that was kind of handy because I was like, that's right. I have those pink. When, she, when I saw those earrings, even they were kind of different, I realized they had the same kind of um, pinkishness to them. So immediately I realized I had a pair of earrings that went with this shirt. And maybe I would have remembered that or not. I don't know, but that's so why the pieces, uh, it like came said, to mind. I'm going to show uh, three tops, one pair of earrings, and I won't be showing the shorts because I showed them in the previous video. So if you're curious and you want to pop over there, um, I'll put the link down below. I will also put my affiliate link down there. And just FYI, I will be testing out uh, Wantable, uh, wantable.com. I have a box coming very, very soon, like possibly tomorrow. And I'm also testing out uh, ShopSmart. I was going to say Smart Shop, but it's ShopSmart. I have no idea when they're going to show up. Um, but both of those are also subscription box clothing companies. So uh, I will, that will be four total that I have tested out once I get those other two boxes. And then I'll probably do a video where I kind of discuss the pros and cons of each one. So far I have to say Stitch Fix is up at the top as far as my experience with them and the interface um, usability of their interface on as far as the website and that kind of thing. And I do think that my stylist, Mandy, did a great job, and I hope she does my next box because I have a feeling box number three is going to be a 5-5. Five five. I do. Okay, so anyway, if you have any questions about Stitch Fix, I didn't really explain all the details about how it works because I think everybody knows, and there's millions of videos out there that talk about it. But if you have questions, feel free to post them down below, and I will do my best to answer them. Have a wonderful dolly crafting and fashion day. <laughs> Bye, guys. We're in my March Stitch Fix. Um, and actually I really like the design of these um, however I didn't think that they were worth $35 or wait a minute $34 these are called um, Shady Shea Hoop Earrings S-H-A-Y from Town & Reese um, they are made in China it says this here on the back no, no big surprise which is a shame because there's many talented American jewelry designers like myself who could make these and actually do probably a better job well definitely a better job with the construction of these the big problem with these is this ear ring here this the loop on this is not large enough it keeps getting kind of see how it doesn't want to move around now it should swing back and forth now it's swinging back and forth but it shouldn't this should be more movable and that's because the loop here is needs to be bigger. All right, so that's just a very simple construction item there. Also, the wire wrapping is not bad, but it's very very thin wire. And I mean, I get it. These these probably have very tiny holes, so they had to use thin wire. But it looks. Um, I would not be surprised if these break at some point because of how thin the wire is here for such a heavy. Um, piece of uh, stone which these are rose quartz um, but the look is really nice but like I said the construction is a little flawed considering these are $34 honestly if these had been half that price I might have considered buying them and changing out you know the ear hooks so that they would work right and but otherwise these were also a no Okay, this is the Paper Moon Daphilia, D-A-F-I-L-I-A, Drape Back Knit Top for $44. And I did think, I, I mean, I do like this shirt. 
when I thought it was just a tank top like this, um, I thought it had possibilities, even though this color, uh, this light gray, really washes me out since I'm so pale. But um, it has a problematic issue in the back, and I will flip it around and show you the back of it. But here's the front. It's sort of A-line, and it's a knit shirt. Um, you can see it has a very large print on it. All right, so I'm going to flip it around and show you the back. All right, so here's that same shirt, and the issue I have is this: these armholes are really big on me. I know they're draping down here, and yes, they do kind of get bigger when you're actually wearing this shirt, but for me, I always have had issues with... Um, tank tops usually that are kind of large like this uh, the, the armholes are just too big this is another shirt that I had thought had a lot of possibilities I adore the color um, it is similar to a shirt that I have on my Pinterest board uh, it is $54 and the name of the shirt is called skies are blue McLean crochet panel knit top this was a wash by hand shirt which I would have De dealt with. However, my issues with the fit on this, if you can see here, it's very um, straight. It's not really A-lined. And this knit, it's knit. This part is knit and this part here is is not. It's a cotton, so that's probably why it's hand washable um, or has to be hand washed. But it, it just clung to me right in the center area. If it was probably more A-line versus just straight down, it would not have emphasized um, my tummy so much and yeah so unfortunately this was also a no. This is the third shirt that was in my uh, Stitch Fix box and I love 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 it. It has a um, it's got the type of hem where the front is shorter than the back. It has this the here the uh, buttons are covered by this panel it's got a very slight A-line to it, so it pulls away from your body versus clinging in here in the center. Um, I love the colors here. This could go with lots of lots of uh, neutral pants, um, navy gray, um, black. Um, I, I'm kind of thinking it might look nice with a gray pants that I have. And yeah, it's Paper Moon. It's called the, hold on here. According to the paperwork, it is called the Albany Split Neck Blouse. It's $44. This was also, I believe, something that was washable, but I will check on that. And um, it fits me perfectly. It fits me perfectly. And definitely, again, this is a top that I could wear during the summer. Um, if I could wear it on the cruise that I'm going to take. And I could also uh, dress it up for work. So this is what I ended up selecting out of my box for sure. Thank you.